Hi, I'm Becky from GQ. I'm here with Ty Dollar Sign. What's good? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Too well. You're here in rainy London. What do you think of people's style over here? How is it different from LA? I love London. Um, I think the people out here dress better than most people. Um, I would say here, New York, Japan for sure. I think those are the three top fashion spots for me. Paris, for yeah. Yeah. Is there anywhere you want to shop while you're here? In particular, my favorite spot out here to go shopping is Selfridges and Dover Street Market. Nice. Um, what was that other small joint we went to last time we came? Do you remember? It was like some small booty crazy joint. I'm not even gonna tell everybody about that because like <laughs> everybody can't even get in. But they got some some like dope, super dope places to shop out here in London. So one of the top search terms for your name is Thai dollar sign tattoos. Mm. Do you have a lot of tattoos? Oh, tattoos everywhere, tats all over my body. Just got a new one right here on my head. Oh, nice. the, the logo for the movement and T guy right here, Tammy Ganger guy. And um, I'm working on my back right now. I got um, Mary Jane, that's what I call it. Um, it's really Mother Mary, but I turned it into Mother. I mean, Mother Mary Jane, and um, it's gonna be dope, but it just takes a lot of time, there's a lot of detail, and I think Nene, my tattoo artist, has already spent like three days on it, and it's covering my whole back and it hurts like hell, oh. so we're working on it. Have you got a favorite one? Favorite it? tattoo, probably Jalen's face, right here, my daughter, and then Jacasso, my brother, um, rest in peace and his face right here as well. Portraits are my favorite. And what do you wear if you want to feel really confident, like if you're going to an award ceremony or you're going, you're playing a particularly important gig, yeah. what do you wear? A lot of people know me as Saint Laurent Dollar. I might throw some Saint on. The last designer I really loved a lot. The new guy, he has a couple things that, that have been dope too, but for sure that last designer, I, I kept, the name's not coming immediately. But yeah, Saint Laurent is a shit for sure. Um, on stage, I like to be comfortable. I don't like to be all super dressy, so you might just catch me in a t-shirt or something loose and like some cool, you know, pants. Nothing like really dressy and like that doesn't make me, that doesn't allow me to move and jump around and shit, you know? I was recently putting on these Subi shorts at my hotel. And uh, if I would've worn them shits on stage, man, it would've got crazy, cause I just like, tried to squat, and them shits rip. I guess I'm too thick, bro. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and shoes? Shoes, um, I'm a Vans guy. If you come to my house, I have a whole room that's just a shoe room, and like, it's hella like, of the same shoes as well, those black and white, old school um, Vans. Those are my favorites. But then I have like, every Jordan that ever came out as well. I just haven't been wearing them. But like every time something dope comes or something that I just want doubles of or I feel like might be worth it in the end, I just cop another pair. So I'm a Jordan head for sure. And um, you know, Nikes, Adidas, Pumas, everything. Like just, I like the older shit a lot. Favorite item in your suitcase? The marijuana. <laughs> 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 You're over in the UK to promote your new album, Beach House 3. Can you tell us anything about it? What do you want to tell us about it? What's different about it? Different, better lyrics, not so vulgar, just better. Upgrade, you feel me? What's your favorite track on the new album? What's favorite track on the new album is Famous. That's the first song on the album. Why? Because it's the realest song, it started to feel like a lot of people, not feel like, I just started to notice for sure that a lot of the people around me weren't there for the right reasons. And um, this fame shit is like, people think it's everything, but to me it's just regular, it's just a job. And like, I feel like people are just too thirsty around it, so I made, you know, we made a song about it. 
So was there a track that was really hard to work on, but it was worth it in the end? Which was the most difficult to kind of finish? Mm. The interludes, I have like, I don't remember the number, it might be like five or six interludes where we made them like songs. And this is where I like really went psycho down on them and called in, you know, Peter Lee who plays the violins, got Mike Dean on keys, got Skrillex on edits, got James on drum, you know, all of us, like all my guys, we just put in and like made some crazy shit. So I'm excited about that. Awesome. What's Skrillex like to work with? He's amazing, energetic, just super chill dude, humble, but really more talent, more talented than everybody in the room. Like, actually is sitting there like, like you know, you work with a lot of producers and um, later on you'll find out they had somebody else play the keys or had somebody else do this or had somebody else do that. Skrill is like coming in and like doing everything from scratch on his laptop and mixing it and mastering it. So he's like number one for sure. Is there anything on Beach House 3, like any secret little samples or like little things that people should listen out for that you put on there that kind of mean something to you? Um, on the first song, Famous, I have a surprise guest that I didn't put in the feature credits or anything. And like, he's like one of my favorite artists of all time. And we just decided to just like let the people trip out when they hear it. So listen for that. Brilliant, thank you. Thanks very sure. much.